So, we all love an active workout day that will burn calories, grow muscles, and get our heart rate up. But it's also important to warm up to avoid injury, to increase active flexibility, and to get the best results from our workout. Let's not wait. Let's go. All right, first things first, seated half circles. Moving your body from left to right, really dipping down into that stretch. You want to activate your core and really work those shoulders and your arms. Slowly but surely, you got this. Next is the seated figure eight leg movement. What you're going to do is use one leg to trace the number eight. Do the best you can do. You can do two circles, one at the top, one at the bottom, or you can create the letter A as we usually see it. So give it a try, keep your balance, engage your core, and have fun. Get ready to switch to the opposite leg. All right guys, so now we're gonna go into a seated cross body stretch, stretching our left arm over to our thigh and our right arm above our head and over. Every part of your body should be pointed from both arms as well as that active foot that's pointed towards the ceiling. We want a good stretch within our core, our shoulders, our arm, and even our neck just by it hanging naturally. So hold this stretch, move your arms a little bit so it can be active and so that it doesn't put too much tension on any muscle and enjoy this. Perfect. Now switch to the other side and do the same. You did that perfectly. Now we're going to go into a lunge side bend. So just get into that lunge position and then you're going to cross both arms over your head, hands on your elbows and just bend to one side. Now begin to rise up, shake your body out just to get any kinks out if you had any. And then we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna cross our arms over our head once again and bend to the opposite side. Make sure that your feet and your knee is grounded into the ground so that you can have that stability for greater flexibility. Nice. Okay, getting the hang of things. So now we're going to go into a gate pose with arm sweeps, bringing one leg out, both arms to our side, and we're going to sweep one arm into a circle. So just picture a circle and make that circular motion. Take your time. Be angelic. Let your arms flow. Just release any tension you have in your arms, in your shoulders, and have fun. One more sweep before you switch to the other side.
I know those sweeps were fun, but now we're going to move into a threaded needle. And this is going to be an active thread the arm. So you're going to bring one arm up and cross it through your body. And then you're going to rise back up and do the same. Have fun. Make sure your body is flowing and release tension within your body. You don't have to hold on tight to the ground and grip your fingers into the carpet. Just relax, be dainty, and have fun. Awesome, awesome. I know you gave that your all. Now you're going to switch sides. Do the same and even better. That was a lot better. So now we're going to recline. We're going to go into a reclining pigeon pose or better known as kind of like a 90-90 stretch but supine. And what you're going to do is going to cross one foot over your knee, bring your leg up close to your chest as far as possible. And we're going to work that active leg up and down. And as we're doing this, it just brings our knee closer to our chest and gives that other leg a nice stretch. So make sure to activate your abs and relax your body to allow flexibility. Good job. So now we're going to switch to the other side. Take your time and as I always say, enjoy. One more pump before we go into a leg swing. So what you're going to do is use one leg to anchor your body and then you're going to use the other leg to swing and cross over your knee. And you're going to cross that foot over your knee as far as possible so that you can stretch the side of your body. You're going to twist your spine a little bit in a good way and you're going to really feel a great stretch and this is going to relieve tension within your spine and allow you to work out or do your high cardio even better, even greater because your spine is flexible, your spine is relaxed, it's able to hold you up and help you get great results. Good job. That's right. Do the same for the opposite leg. Really cross that foot over to get a nice stretch on your side. One more sweep and then we're going to head into hip circles. So bring your leg down, shake your body out. And then we're going to go into the hip circles by crossing our legs, placing our hands on our feet, and we're going to move our body into a circular motion. Now, I didn't want to get wild and really do the circle because I could really be around this whole room, but we're going to just do this how our body feels and allow our body to just drop naturally and go into a circle. I know, I know it looks weird, <laughs> it looks crazy, but this really does an awesome job with stretching your spine and your your hips and relieving tension I mean look at how our legs are like this is bound to release tension in our hips I do this all the time I enjoy it and I know you will too very good now reverse to the other side and go into a circle Awesome, you guys are doing a very good job keeping your energy up high. Now we're going to go into a bridge pose. So you're going to lift your pelvic up to the ceiling, ground your feet, and then this is active. So we're going to lift one leg up and down. Lift your leg up and then back down. And we're just going to work on this side until, of course, we switch to the next side. Uh-huh, beautiful. One more leg raise. Bring your leg back down. We're gonna switch 
So reset, bring your hips back up, and now work that other side of your body. Perfect, one more leg raise. Bring your foot down. Now shake it out, bend your spine, do whatever you need to do to feel relaxed because we're gonna go into an active seated hamstring stretch. So we're gonna go back to our spine being decompressed by laying on our back. And you're just gonna bring your leg up and then try to bring your knee as close to your chest as possible. Hold for about a second and release. So you don't wanna hold it for too long because this is active. It's easy, it's fun, and of course, we're inducing our flexibility and mobility. Get ready to release, and then we're going to switch to the other leg and do the same thing. Good job. Give both knees a nice stretch to your chest and then lay on your side. Bring one knee to your chest and then release. So we're going to be pumping that knee towards our chest and then releasing it straight out to the other foot, stretching our quad, our calves, and also building some ab muscles. Very good and professional. Now take your time to switch to the other side and do even greater than you did before. Stretch your knee to your chest as best as possible, maybe even putting one hand on your knee to bring it closer to your chest and release. Lovely. Now let's bring the tempo down just a little bit, decompress our body by swinging our knees from left to right. They don't have to touch the ground or anything of that nature, but just sway your knees, swaying your hips very gently and just relaxing your body and bringing your heart rate down just a little bit so that you're calm and ready to go into that workout with clear thoughts and great intentions. Perfect. Bring your knees back and toes up towards the ceiling and stretch your thighs and your spine. Very good. I'm going to test your flexibility. So, what you're going to do is spread your legs out wide in this position. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Very good. Now bring your feet together. We're going to bring our toes up closer to the ceiling by rising our rear up, allowing our hands to support our spine. Bring your knees to your head and hold it here. You're doing a good job. Very, very good. Gently release your body. Sway your knees from side to side. You did it. You did an awesome job. Repeat this as many times as you want, but I say at least two times a week. And this will definitely help with just warming up before any workout. And it's also good for an active recovery day. With that being said, I will talk to you all next time.